guys today we're going to be showing you how to save cucumber seed um, this basically refers to heirloom cucumbers we're going to be doing some of our favorite cucumbers the SMR 58 our favorite of all time but this works with any cucumber and um, pretty much any unless there's some I don't know about anyway I promise there's at least one thing some of you guys don't know in this video we always do things a little bit different so stay tuned and we're going to show you a fast method to save your cucumber seed. Man, those carrots looking good. Um, okay, over there is the plant in question. We let these things die. I actually let these things die off because... Now, this is the first time we grew the SMR 58, and it quickly became our favorite. Um, we had to come out every day, not every other day, but every day, which we've never did before to get cucumbers off. So as far as pickling cucumbers go, this has become our absolute favorite. We probably won't grow um, any other type of cucumber. Um, this this one's pretty much all we need, and these two plants were explosive. Um, so we thought we'd share it with you guys. I like these things so much, and we had so many of them. I figured it was best to go ahead and uh, get some seeds. So I let this in. This is only two plants here, guys. From uh, down there to the melons, all the way to right here is only two plants. Um, so what I wanted to do was uh, just let these plants die out. We're finished. We don't need any more cucumbers. Our neighbors don't need any more cucumbers. Family, um, we're all pretty much packed up. So I let these things die. I started to die off and uh, left the cucumbers on there so we could get some seed. And I'll get a close-up of what they look like. Right, guys, so here's one. Um, now this thing is pretty firm like um you can leave a fingerprint in it but it's still pretty firm we like to leave them a little longer than that i have a bunch guys because i wanted a bunch of seed i wanted my gurus to have some so we have uh, i would say at least thousands of seeds here um so we're just going to go ahead and collect them all that's what i wanted um i love this these are smr 58 cucumbers and it's our favorite variety so um this is what you pretty much want them to look like. Um, actually, it'd be okay if you let them got mushy, but not to the point where the contents leak out on the ground. Some of these will not be used for seed, but this guy right here will be. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, harvest some of these, and we will show you how we get to seed and what we do with them. All right, guys, so here we have a, <clears throat> another cucumber. Um, this one is uh, just a little more decrepit, a little yellow. I can almost put my finger through it so all we're going to do is we're going to take this cucumber and what I like to do is fold it over and find one of those nice creases right there and uh, I just like to cut in that crease uh, with my cut coat knife here now I don't cut all the way through because I don't like cutting in the seed pod and stuff like that so we're just going to crack this thing open and there's our seed now the next thing to do of course we need a spoon and uh, we're just going to spoon these things out. Just like this right here. And then once we get all these loose, we're just going to dump them on our paper towel here. And as you can see, um, there's not much left. Pretty much get all your seed out. So now the next step for this uh, is a little different than uh, what everybody else does. So all we're going to do is just continue scraping our seed out. And uh, once we do that, we're going to put it in the strainer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get most of this cucumber meat removed. So the purpose of letting it get, now this one is still not as raw as I normally would like it, but we let them to get really, really nasty and mushy. So um, those seeds will come out once we start um, squeezing all this and washing it and getting that meat and seed separated. Um, we like it to be a lot more mushy than this. But this will work and these seeds are perfectly viable. All we're going to do is just wash it, strain it, rub it around, get all the meat off really quick. And uh, we'll show you the next part. Okay, guys, let me get some of this out of the way. So here we are after our quick rinse. Um, as you can see, there's still some meat in there. All we done was just kind of push in the, you know, push as we rinse, and that's pretty much it. So now, all we're going to do is 
we have some warm water here and all we're going to do is take these things dump them in this warm water and we are going to let them soak for a couple days just to get these the meat and stuff off of these okay so what we're going to do is we're going to let these things soak in here for maybe 24 48 hours we're not trying to ferment this stuff guys all i'm doing this for is to loosen up the little coating around the seed um the little hole and uh then we're going to show you guys how we get that off um, so this is really not a fermentation process all we're doing is really just washing these seed and getting the uh the little coating softened up so we can get it off all right guys we'll see you guys tomorrow and uh to the magic of time that's just going to be in a second all right guys um here's our strainer of cucumber seed um here below we have a towel that we use specifically for this method um so we're constantly bleaching this towel of course it does get uh nasty because we do have we are you know processing seed with it so here's the method that i don't see a lot of other people do so um i'm going to try to show you guys in here but i'm not sure if you can see these um clear seed here some of these pods like this one right here is clear uh that's an actual seed pod not a hole and that seed pod there is no good there's nothing inside of it however it's these solid ones here that we're after and these also have a seed hole on them still even though they've been soaking in water um all that done was just get the gel off of it uh the next thing we're going to do to get these holes off is just dump them right here on this towel and i'm going to take my hand and i'm just going to thin them out you can already see some of them holes wanting to come off so then the very next step is pretty easy guys we don't have to wait or do anything else is just take our towel and rub the seed and as we're drying them off the hole is going to come off and stick to the towel and the next thing that's going to happen is those fake seed holes that you've seen me pointing at is going to roll up and go away and uh those won't go in your jar because you're not going to be picking them up as you can see really all we have is pretty much viable seed hole because all those other ones really don't have no consistency to them so they kind of wad up like a seed hole because that's pretty much close to what they are anyway so uh just look really close and make sure you don't have no stragglers because some of them do get pretty hard here's one we know that's not sorry here's one that we know is not right we're not going to add in there you will have one or two this is a non-viable seed and the holes are gone so now really all we have to do is take these things let them dry out and uh, drop them in a paper bag or an envelope we always stress paper bag with seed guys don't use plastic all right guys that's pretty much it um you don't really have to wait now there's another method that i'm going to do uh where we don't soak the seed at all they come right out of the cucumber and they go straight to this towel um so far this method here works way better so we're just going to leave this video up until i perfect the other method because it's still really messy all right guys i hope this helps uh again this works with most every other cucumber that i've tried so thank you guys for watching and we'll come back at you with another seed saving video for too long see you on the next one